My name is Aaron Hunt. I'm one of the physician assistants that works with Holland Hospital Rheumatology. One of the things I wanted to talk about is this complex test we call an anti-nuclear antibody. A lot of times the layman will call it a positive ANA and a lot of patients and including even a lot of clinicians don't fully understand what it means but they know that it goes to rheumatology. It's a common thing. Upwards of 10% of the population will have a positive anti-nuclear antibody but it doesn't mean that that 10% has autoimmune disease. This positive marker is seen in a lot of different autoimmune diseases. Some that we treat, some that we don't, including things like autoimmune thyroid disorders, but we can sometimes help identify why it's there and if it's significant. We're also here to help reassure patients that an ANA is sometimes just there, or what we call a positive anti-nuclear antibody of unknown significance. I'll sometimes even refer to it of no clinical significance. Once we've had a thorough workup, a chance to discuss with the patient, a proper history, physical examination, and a lot of times further blood tests to help differentiate other antibodies or other markers that might be present in association with the positive ANA. It's commonly seen in diseases like I mentioned earlier, lupus, You'll hear Sjogren's syndrome, something called mixed connective tissue disease, myositis, as well as rheumatoid arthritis. It is not diagnostic of any one of those conditions. We think of it as a clue to possibly showing us signs that the immune system is misbehaving. It's a frequent test that's ordered by primary doctors like internists and family physicians. When patients present with joint pain or unusual rashes in the sun, or if they develop sudden patches of hair loss. We have numerous referrals for this positive blood test. It's a common thing seen in primary care, but it's not always something that they're well equipped to deal with. And again, just like so many other things in medicine, that's why there's a subspecialty available to help break down the intricacies of this positive test. We're glad to be part of Holland Hospital, glad to be part of the community, and if you, or someone you know has any questions regarding autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, other inflammatory diseases, feel free to contact us.